Come on, Samba, where are you? <laughs> he has cancel. He'll ping this with like a banana launcher, banana bomb next turn. Unless it dies. We actually have a one in three of the banana launcher dying for. Uh oh, uh oh, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing another one of these Immortisha creations uh, where you're ramping up and controlling your opponent until you teleport in some really serious lake in cards. And I decided to go with basically the most fun uh, combo I could think of, which is going to probably also be really effective. It's Garg throwing Garg and Mechasaur. The idea is if they don't play something significant on the field, you have to answer. You put in the Dino, the Zombot Dynatronic Mechasaur dry. Uh, and if they do, you put a Garg throwing Garg in front of it. They're both going to give you an absolute ton of value. We have plenty of control cards. You're ramping up again with Cryo Brains. You want to try to get more brains uh, and more cards so you always have an answer to what your opponent plays. Uh, and then you're going to be finishing them off with our finishers. It's a little part of me which almost wants to put Regifter in this deck to come combined with the Mechasaur or a Cosmic card, now that I'm actually looking at this deck list again. Uh, I don't think Cosmic, Scientist, or Yeti is going to work. Maybe we should run, um... Uh, should I put Regifter in this deck? Maybe Regifter's good. I think I'm actually going to add, like, two Regifters just to, um... Just to add some ways of like activating the Mechasaur once it's played. So I would like two of these. It also is really nice to have a lot of card draw. All right. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll copy this deck list and we will get right into the game. Two, two regifters. That's not too much. We can also teleport this in using teleportation zombie or teleport in the early game to sort of control your opponent. There might even be some mill plays. Who knows? All right. So I'm going to redo this deck list while this first game starts. It'll start really quickly because there's about. 20 people trying to snipe me at any given time. <laughs> I say chances are almost every single person who I fight against is watching the stream. <laughs> Just how it goes. All right. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. All right. It's a hand. Oh, we have to do gambling, guys. Guys, this is really this is the most important part of the stream, guys. If you think this deck will go at least eight and two, are we gonna have time for ten games today hey, with this deck? I hope you're doing well in these messed up times. Any way to do a lockdown theme deck <laughs> in honor of our 85th lockdown of the year? We'll just do it with brain freeze. Just everything that's just overgrown beards, crazy. Um, it was a pretty good bat. I think I'm going to do eight games today instead of ten. So if you think this deck will win oh come on if you think this will win more than six wins so it'll be it has to go seven out of eight um how about more than five wins uh, let's say more than six it'll be seven out of eight Oh my gosh, make play. Sorry, I'm roping. Okay, so we're gonna play eight games. Will this will this deck go at least seven and one? That's a really high bet, guys. We're really up in the odds. We can only lose one game on the on the on on the yes side. Seven out of eight. Ho 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 ho. I was gonna do six out, but I decided to up the odds a little bit. And I think this deck is gonna be really good. Here we go. See, everyone votes yes. I gotta give people a little bit more mo motivation to vote no. Mmm. Whee! Can you guys hear the sirens? Ah. That didn't help at all. Uh, you always save the teleports. As late as you can, because they're so good. Like, this allows you to play Mechasaur on turn 7 instead of turn 8, if you play this a turn before. Oh, this this stakes this stakes are out. Oh, this is such a good play. Might as well just do this. It'll do 2 damage regardless. Should I let this charge our block meter and then do it? Well, no, it's going to grow next turn. Yeah, that's definitely correct. Yay. <coughs> Yay. 
Yay. Predictions. How are the predictions going, guys? Are people actually going to vote no today? Wait. Why did it not work? My predictions is not working. Ooh, 55% said no. Here we go. Bro. Here we go, bro. Here we go, step bro. Um, the question is, do we teleport this in so we automatically really get the Mechasaur the next turn unless he Grave Flex? The, the, the problem is, if he, if he does have Grave Flex, then it's better to save the teleport. He's running Grave Flex. Me thinks I'm going to teleport this in. The idea is this is protected in the Gravestone until... How many cattails do you have? Bruh. Leave us a bit. <laughs> I don't know why he's saying that. That's it. That's not even a Hebrew song. It's an Aramaic song. And it's crazy. And it has the word bruh in it. That's why I sing it. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Let's go. Oh, 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 we got we got options. Come on, team up. Let's go. Do it. Just do it. Yeah. And it lives. La di da di da da da. <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> guys. This is amazing. This is insanity. It's the madman. Uh-oh. Yes, this dies automatically. <gasps> Look at the play. See ya. <laughs> ah, such brilliance. See ya later. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Uh, I think we actually pass and teleport this in. If we just play this, then the Garg turn Garg gets fronted and doesn't get value, so. Later, Snick. Damn, that was so good. <laughs> Maybe that'll be the highlight intro. 22 That's game one, turn seven. Bro. Uh -huh. This guy's so done. <laughs> it's six, but we need seven damage to win. We and he has one card left. This guy is complete toast. Yeah, might as well can see. <laughs> Today is April. It's May. May thirteenth, twenty twenty one. Gosh. Now I'm waiting for twenty twenty one to be over. How did that happen? Now what do we do? We pass, sorry. Why am I roping? No tricks deck challenge? I probably have had uh, decks with no tricks before, like pirate decks and stuff. <laughs> okay. See ya. Oh, we got raw zombie. Raw zombie wins! This is such good thing! <laughs> Yay! I think we can go seven seven wins with this set, guys. A lot of people voting for no, though. <laughs> See, you made it interesting. Now it's a 50-50 split. I should really make the, the bet something that'll be a, around a 50-50. Maybe we should go for, like, 9-1 and one now. I don't know what happens, but... I think 8-2 and two is kind of perfect for 10 games. You think plants or zombies are stronger? I, I think they're really balanced, which is awesome. This game sort of has this way which ba it balances itself. 
I'm just trying to think what we're gonna play around. Like these are okay. Um, I think you just keep as many teleports as you get. They're so good. Whenever collab with a YouTuber who only speaks Spanish, that would be really difficult because we wouldn't even be able to talk to each other. <laughs> Can you do a Reddit tier list with bias for once? That's annoying. It's not that annoying. I think it's a free banana bomb. Oh, lock a day. Play another one. Should I just let him get all these free banana bombs? They're kind of useless. In fact, I'll just mill him. It's fine. Enjoy. You can't do a damn thing with these banana pops. <laughs> I probably should have killed it. Two for one. Alright, that's quite enough. It's the best card in PvZ Heroes. Uh, time to shine. No, actual cards though? I don't know. Pine Clone's kind of OP. I don't know. I don't know what's the best card. Maybe it's just like Berry Blast. I don't know. <laughs> it's a heal deck. I feel so bad for this guy. Banana Launcher is obviously the best card. Everyone knows that. This is completely safe. This is completely safe. It's insanely safe. Bruh. Should I teleport in a second one? Nah. It's gonna be just teleport in one of these and then teleport another one and then teleport a third one on turn nine. Supernova Garg does not counter Pine Clone, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not true. The damage is already done. Plus, there's Molokale very often. Um, it's just too slow. Again, if you run a deck with... Depends what the deck's running. Without Molokale... It ends up answering it. Pass! What the... What the hell? What the Tower Nation... Do I cover this environment already? Is this nuts? You think Mechasaur is better there? No. No. Supernova Garg. Oh, in the, in the planet. That's not fair. I think I'll take it. I think we have enough big guys on the field that we can do... I mean, what if he, um... This dies pretty badly to Colonel Corn. I'm just thinking evaporate, but I don't even really have to evaporate. That's okay. I'll play it. Well, this plus evaporate makes a guy, too. I think I'm going to use teleport. <laughs> That's the play. It doesn't do a damn thing. It doesn't even kill the Supernova Guard. Now what? He has to have something up his sleeve here. Oh, okay. We. He'll get rid of this one, I presume. No, he goes. F oh, 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 ow, ouch! Nibble, 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 nibble. Okay, so we have Regifter. I probably won't play second Mecha Sir here. We'll get an entire field just from playing Regifter, which is awesome. Rawr! Tomb Razor. Uh, so... I guess we want the guy... Probably rather the guy in the environment. So let's give him one of these. Now we have all of these. You know, we could even just teleport in a gravestone if we need to. If he, like, clears this lane or something. Cards! Okay. So far, 
So good. Another team up. What is he going for? Something like a molecule? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. God damn it. Um, Colonel Corn hurts. So far, so good. No Colonel Corn. No, good, da, 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 da. No, good, 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 good. And he got Astrovera. No, but he got grapes? It's complete garbage. Uh, the question is, now what do we do? Uh, bull. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, we're actually not in such bad shape here. I'm gonna have to do this. I think we're still in really good shape, guys. I think this Mechasaur is gonna wreck his Tuchus. Plus, we're doing damage. That's fine. I should have used one of these nibbles. We can Mechasaur card draw here. It's so good. <laughs> guys, look at this play! It's turn 10, Mechasaur card draw. Boop! Oh, here comes the banana bombs. Accumulated over the years. Wee. No. That was kind of evil. <sighs> I guess this goes here. Guys, look at these plays. <laughs> Yay! Can I get something good? Okay. <laughs> Roar! Should probably try to kill this at some point. We get a free card now. I don't know what's going on. Maybe killing this was good. I don't really want him doubling up. I think we're in great shape. I don't know about y'all. Roar! Yes! Uh, we can evaporate something here, which will actually activate more things. Uh, I don't know if it's teleport. Hmm. Should I make a sir again? I think it's just evaporate, beam me up, and we'll make a sir like next turn. And? <laughs> okay. So, methinks the play is evaporating this one. Yep. Let's see what we get. This also hits something, so it'll give us a little more information in terms of our control. See ya. Valkyrie. That's nice. See ya. Uh, question is with the rocket and stuff. I'd like this to hit. So I think we extinction event this one. I could have extinction event these actually. Would have been a little bit more value. I think we rock it this one. Might as well use the cryo brains. I think this is good. This procs the block. Probably should have Extinction and then use Double Nibble there. Maybe I should be playing around, like, some kind of burst of damage. I don't know. It's nice we have six health in our hand. I probably, instead of Extinction Event, should have, like, Double Nibbled. Especially with these things on the field. See, this is what he's doing. He's just trying to reach now. We have to use these Nibbles. As I, I definitely should have Double Nibbled there. I don't know what I was thinking. We actually, theoretically, have Lethal here. Oh, I could use a Teleport, which I didn't get. Got him. Look at the Dino Roar. We have four dinosaurs on the field. Are they from four different classes, too? This is great. Guys, and then Valkyrie. God, dear God. Oh, my gosh. This, this game is going to take so long. This is not okay. And it's the great Jukini. 
And it's double cornucopia. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right. <laughs> Just completely redundant. All right, here comes up. <laughs> I think we can still win this game. No, not jump. Uh oh. No, we have beat me up. It's fine. Yeah. And he gets dragon. What? What? <laughs> wow. That was the biggest flip of a board I have ever seen in this game. Easily the biggest flip. How we were dominating and he, oh, come on, man. That was some bruv right there. Look at this guy does eight damage too. All right. I think this is still winnable. We have guard throwing guard. Guys, we're going to get some Zombot Miracles here. Is there any other cards? I think we can still pull this off. Plus, we're blocking next turn, so the mech star actually activates. I can just empty my hand. Aha! So, Z play. Z play. We give him one of these. We give him one of these. And we give him one of these. We're in amazing shape. Are you kidding me? This is this is perfect. He can't do a damn thing. It's gonna pass. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, so that takes one damage, which is perfect. No proc the block for you. I get two gargs. It's always gonna be deep sea garg in the water, and the other one is going to be Defensive end, okay. Deep Sea Guard counters this, uh, this dude. We're fine, guys. Plus, he can't get a double anymore. Ow. See ya. Oh, this, even, this wins the trade? That was incredible. Okay, here's another one. Stop it on! <laughs> that helps. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just, like, chump lock this so the stomp it on lives, I suppose. Okay. Uh, I, I, he's, I think he's proccing my block this turn no matter what I do. I can also double nibble this. <sighs> no, wait, we have to, we have to block something. All right. I feel like I don't want to die to Berry Blast once he procs our block, so let's preserve this one. Alright, this is fine. This procs our block. It's happening. I shall keep you for a free minion. Aha! Raw zombie! Rawr! <laughs> Draining two out of the twelve sun left over from that turn. That's helpful. I, I need a I need like another uh, guard launcher or something. This guy though. Uh oh! Are you kidding me, man? Oh, yeah, we don't even need it. Okay, fine. Raw. Okay, it's getting thick. <laughs> it's kind of stomping on. It's actually helping here. Oh no no no, no 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> this game is nuts. This game is absolute craziness. What is even going on? Is there a way? There's no way to make the Mechasaur live, so I think I get the Tomb Razor to hit face here? We can't get the Mech... Oh, man. Do I act, try to activate the Tomb Razor here, or do I just pass? Probably good enough. All right, Tomb Razor is active. Let's go. Get a free minion. <laughs> Unless he rolls a three. <laughs> 52 health. No! <laughs> so much for that, huh? 
Bruh. I don't think Solar Flare superpowers are very good in the late game. All right, that happened. Ooh, rocket. I think this is good here because it kind of like messes up. If he puts something too big, we can always rocket it. Um, if he, it, it makes him like this survives, and then putting a team up here really sucks the next turn. So plus it just blocks the five two here. It's just the stronger menu. Okay. 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 <sighs> this man's uh out of steam. I, I think we're I think we're in the money here. I think I have to kill this so we don't like die a miserable death here. Or maybe I do the no 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 no. We're still playing the long game. <laughs> Big time. Come on, Samba, where are you? <laughs> He is gonna have to, he'll ping this with like a banana launcher, banana bomb next turn. Unless it dies. We actually have a one in three of the banana launcher dying for. Uh oh! Uh oh! Okay! Alright, here we go! Here we go! Uh! Our opponent's in a top deck situation now. Now, we're just cutting this 52 health down to so. Oh, that's a good teleport. Let's go. If we win this. Do I use this? What is he even doing? Do I use the teleport? Do I use the teleport? I might need this defensively, but probably just keeping the the pressure on right now is the way. Oh my god, that was complete crap. But then what? It means we'll have an extra another card this turn that's not Cryo Brain, which is nice. All right, so we're doing. So he doesn't have a banana bomb in hand. He just has a superpower and a random card in his deck. Look at the comeback, guys! Rocket, love to see that. Little buddies. <laughs> just to block the damage coming in. It heals for four as well. Doesn't ping the Garg. Importantly. We're still doing 16 here. Uh, he can't. Okay, one of them fails. One of them blocks nine damage. That's a superpower now. He's just stalling for time. <laughs> All right, he's down to 10 now. Let's go. Let's go. I love having this rocket. It's really nice. Uh, this goes here. One plus nine. It just clogs the lane, too. Bruh, he's running all so many little buddies. Okay, so he'll be down to, to four health now. And look at this field. We got him! We g I can't believe that- Oh, okay, that was literally the best thing we could have got. Especially with Teleportation Zombie in the field. Our whole deck just, just opened up. We win! He he had he healed for 100 that game. I mean, th this was insanity. This, this was- This might be the most insane game of PvZ Heroes I've ever played. Ever played. Here we go. Don't draw the deck out. Whoa. Wait, how many cards do I have left? Do I have a chance of drawing my deck out if I play this? I think you guys are right. I, we really might be at the end of our deck here, and this only does six out of seven, so we just pass. <laughs> and we actually won this game. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what a match. Of P that has to go on YouTube as its own video, I think. That was absolutely, absolutely the craziest game of PvZ Heroes I have ever played in my life. Wow, we we drew so many cards. That's why I was afraid to draw cards there, man. So, oh man. That might be like the challenge video. I don't know what's happening with this roast. Maybe I'll do this this weekend if the roast isn't done by then. Went to turn 20. Unbelievable.
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mwah. Thank you, Lamp Man. Here's Bedorni. <laughs> Tell me why. Nothing but a. I love how we get early game control cards usually with Immortitia. So nice. This just makes this so much easier. This is such a good power. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Ain't nothing but a. I think we save the. I think we save the bat because it just does more. Black IP is a little bit rough here. What is this gonna be? A uh, probably an onion rings deck. If I know Bedorni at all. I think the bats really does more down the stretch. I I'm just worried about sort of about black eyed pea here. I, I want to play maybe around um twin sunflower though, so I'll I'll save the bat. The for example, bat answers twin sunflower and nibble just doesn't. Fedorini's a Q sniper, not a hand sniper. I, I doubt he has the stream on when he's playing me. I highly doubt it. <clears throat> um, against the team ups in this inevitable onion rings deck. I, I think I'm just gonna save this. Bats also can block damage. It's gotta be. That game was so awesome. Yes, it was. Nice smiley. Thank you for the three bucks. Three bucks. So it doesn't look like onion rings anymore, else why would he spam these on four? A little bit strange. Strange. I don't think it's onions. That play didn't make sense if he had an onion rings in hand. Bro! This seems worth it to block this for a turn. <laughs> We're gonna have such a good play. So I'm going to teleport in another teleportation zombie. Keep that going. Bro. You always draw cards? <sighs> I, I think this is right. The podcast is not right. I have to change this. It's definitely piss. Whoa, bruh. Uh, so it has to be this. Ouch. I do have two environments in this deck somewhere. Fortunately, it's not going to be a bunch of yields again. Yes, this makes a free guy. I would say Mondo is like the best case scenario. I do like this play. Free guard. It worked. Oh, I should be playing around some kind of bonus attack, though. Whoops. Whoopsie doodles. Espresso. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even think of it. Just plant food, even. What is he going for? Going for this? 
Interesting. Uh, this does make a, a new guy with the Mechasaur, so it's really good. See how good the bat is, right? Imagine this had been Nibble. We would have been donezo, guys. <laughs> would have been... But now, it, it activates Mechasaur? Insanity. If we get a Bullseye in four, like, um, I think Gatekeeper... Does that win? Gatekeeper wins in four. <laughs> I'm Pharaoh! Get wrecked! Get wrecked! No, no plan, no plan for it. Okay, I'm, I'm fronting this. I'm fronting this. Oh no! Okay, wow. Pharaoh ain't bad. I, oh my god, these rockets are useless now. Okay, Nibble kills this. I, I think we're doing pretty good here. Pretty damn good. <laughs> Maybe I should have teleported this in. Nah, that's, that's okay. uh, I probably should have teleported this in, actually. Well, no, you have to play it so he doesn't B bonus tag either. What the fudge? Stop it! No! Okay. Okay. Oh. I believe. I believe we rocket this. There's no real point in teleporting here, so we'll hopefully just get one of our late game cards from teleport. Coming up. Give him one of these. And pass. I don't cry over him. Mm hmm. Okay, so this dies. That screws again. So this is one. Beat me up, such a good card. <laughs> This thing. Is he running plant food or not? I don't know, man. Doing late game card. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Maybe there's a mill play. I just feel like he probably has plant food, so let's just. Let's just do this. <laughs> this plant food's kind of harsh, too. Dinosaurs! Go! Oh, no, they don't even grow. Because he is... Uh-oh. Okay, that's good. Man's milled as hail. Plant food's still pretty harsh, but... Actually, the Sundying Pharaoh is... Uh-oh. Uh-huh. What the hell? Okay, I guess we we preserve the Undying Pharaoh now. That's the point. We're down to one health anyway. I mean, it doesn't matter. Alright. Die! <laughs> Yay! Undying Pharaoh has saved the day once again. I don't think he has a way to remove this Mechasaur, so I'm just gonna like play Mechasaur and spam teleport. And see what happens. <laughs> These games. Oh no. Yeah, this is fun. Maybe I shouldn't have played it here though. Well. Oh no, it's Cop Cannon. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no, it's not. No. God damn it. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Wait. Oh. Teleport. Oh, I didn't realize that he was gonna... I thought I was gonna kill the Pharaoh. Ah, oh, let's see here. This has two health, and this is doing seven. Seven minus four is three. I think we lose the game. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Why? <laughs> wow, maybe I should have teleported the Mechasaur in. Oh, well... I will nibble you. I want to. I want to extinction event this thirty nine damage. All right, so we lose to the thirty nine damage. As if this red planet mattered here at all. Now, die. Finally lost. Fair and square. 
Oh man. Alright guys. I'm I'm glad I said we're only doing eight games today, because these games are taking forever. It, it it's been going for so long and it's only been three games. Holy crap. Uh you got headbutted by the potato. You're about the potato. <laughs> Fry is a potato. I need some backup Zombots in this deck, I know, right? Imagine how much better Zombot would have been than like, uh... I should maybe take out the Regifters and just put in two Zombots. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Guys, we're doing it after this game. We need to add two Zombots, of course. That's brilliant. That's a good hand. Remind me at the end of this game. Do not wait until the game is done. You have to remind me before. Yeah, geez. See ya. Maybe I should have nibbled that next turn. Let him charge my block meter a little bit first. What the bro? You know what? I don't care. Imagine Karen. Pine clone in his hand. Hmm. Huh. Huh. What? Save us, Biro. Sorry. Maybe he don't. Maybe the man don't. Do I like literally play around Pine Clone right here? Like, like literally. I guess we do. Maybe I should play around us getting bats. <laughs> Delightful. Whoa! -oh. Jesus. Oh, baby. <coughs> that was alright. I think it's a pretty good matchup for us. Should be able to control this guy pretty well. Boom. Shaka Locker. Mm, that's useless. Alright, guys. Hopefully we'll at least get a, like a nibble or a beam me up or something here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. Why do you put it in the... Why do you put it here? Yes. It's a bit odd, isn't it? In it. Where the heck did he get that from? Oh, he got it from his berry. It's kind of sad. Okay. <laughs> this is our life now. This is our. Oh my gosh. This is not good. I think we lose. Aha, Nibble! Nibble shall save us. So it shall. Maybe we need it always to go to the left. The difference between two damage proccing or blocking three makes like no difference here. All right, so be it Russia. But this can end up blocking two minions as opposed to this throwing backwards, which we really don't want it to do this turn. No, 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 no. Uh, Sumi thinks this is the play. Water is fine. Getting one of these, a 50-50 of blocking something here would be really, really good. Yes! Oh, I think we got some. I think we're in the. I think we're in the moolah. So the play is not to play this. We play the garg throwing garg, and then we stick this in front of whatever he plays next turn, or don't because gargs. This is fine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is fine. We don't need to do the mixer. Just throws a garg. It's fine. Yay! We could also have like mechasaur bat and then evaporate next turn. Okay. 
<laughs> bum ba dum bum bum. We'll just mech us or evaporate next turn. We'll be able to hit something here. He da da dum ba dum. He's going face. Ow. It's fine. <laughs> he got two great responsibilities. That's so sad. La 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 la. This always blocks the two. So we are good. And the, again, this opens up Evaporate, which is a whole minion next turn, which is just so amazing in case he has a bounce or something. Oh, hello, nerd! Good game! Good. That was literally the best thing. That was way better than Zombot. That was so much better because now he can't fairy blast in the face. That was so good! Yes! Yes! Oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked. The man is the end. We'll definitely do this and then evaporate for the for the card. Uh, <laughs> that's a two drop. <laughs> Pretty good two drop. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't lying. Rawr. <laughs> Check on the high lake. <laughs> so great. Uh, 10100. It's like 10045. Petition to add more lanes? No. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. <laughs> what is he supposed to do about this field? This is not okay. Oh, edit deck. Thank you. This deck definitely needs two Zombots in it. We. Wow. Imagine running 10 late game cards. I'll take it. There were seven cards left in my deck in that game that I almost decked out. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the reminder, guys. Uh, it is three and one. Oh, right. It's Zombot. Come on. You got to run the classic. The classic Zombot, guys. The classic Samen Zombot. All right. Do we need one more card draw? Mm hmm. He thinks I'm gonna run three. I'm gonna do it like this. I think it's because we got rid of the regifters running a third card draw. Is is a good one. I think too many cryos. I could get rid of one cryo and, and put a rocket instead. You're probably right. I think we're gonna go four rocket, three cryo. I like your style. Especially since they don't get value out of it right away. Alright. So I changed score to 3 and 1. We're 3 and 1 now. Four games. Uh, I changed the deck list quickly before this game starts. It only takes one second now. Okay. Well, it takes about six seconds. And if I want to make it perfect, it takes about ten seconds. It's beautiful now. Now we have Zombot. Nah, not running Nurse. A nurse would be fine. The original version was for Nurse for Zombot. We're, we're going away. We have enough seven drops in this deck already. We don't need more of that crap. Yay! <laughs> Yay. I, I should probably just look for an early game. Well, I think card draw is actually better than this in our starting hand. All right. Well, I know Alien is Rocket just is more reliable, in my opinion. We kind of have the small removal, the big removal. I don't know. Alien is might be okay. We don't need heals. Heals are overrated. I wonder if I should have played this. Probably should have. <laughs> How do we deal with Black Eyed Pete? Oh, I know. 
We give him one of these. I'm gonna use this as a control card. I know you don't like spending the teleportation zombies, but this black eyed peas. Too big of a problem. I gotta ping it for one. Are there better cards that can replace the legendaries? Again, the the the, the better version of this deck is, is Zombot and Trickster for Zombot for Trickster. I think. The tricksters just kind of like dominate. The tricksters dominate immediately instead of like these mechasaurs. They just spawn minions. They really. This deck just makes games go super long. Something to counter this would be nice. <laughs> Faridaro, thanks for the 100 bits. Wow. You have four of every card. Awesome. Uh, so we can evaporate and teleport this in until we get a nibble or something. It's a pretty good teleport. Faridaro. Mm -hmm. Yay. I feel like empty field, you go Mechasaur, and full field, you go Garg. Something like that. Yeah, I know, this cucumber's a little scary. Well, we'll try to, again, we'll hopefully be able to draw, at least on turn five, draw into something which counters this. Ooh, that's going behind. <laughs> okay. Bro. Uh, so we give this the cheese. We got him. We got him. It's too much. It's too much. So this blocks five damage, and it makes him not draw a card either. <laughs> <laughs> I shall save that. And it's pass. Will be a good place for the garg down the stretch, perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe the priority should be keeping this alive so we can teleport the garg in, in two turns. Not gonna be easy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's taking so much fun. Uh, okay. It's not a problem whatsoever. It's no card draw. I think it's just like, uh. Yeah. Um, I guess we go beam me up. So the, this is like more useful. It's more versatile down the stretch. It also works better with Mechasaur. It also makes a guy. Uh, if we can somehow protect this teleportation zombie for one more turn. Things are gonna be swell. Yay! <laughs> we can also basically just stick this. I mean, Cobb Cannon and friends. Uh, we're gonna draw some cards and see what happens here. Even drawing into a rocket to keep the teleportation zombie around would be good. Can you please explain me what's a budget deck? I don't want those a thousand points to be in vain. I'm very confused. Me, the thousand point thing is me rating your deck, I think. Budget means, you know, it's inexpensive. So we say if it doesn't have any legendaries, maybe it also doesn't have too many super rares or event cards. Things are going well. Locked up in a cell. Locked up in a... I think I'm just blocking this here and then just spamming the Garg next turn. I don't see another play that makes sense. It d d can double nibble this, but then it kind of just dies so well. I don't know. There's a bunch of things that kill it. It's not worth it. This is from the musical called Joseph. Okay, no cop cannon. Or anything else from Captain Q. This thing's drawn three guards already. The guard launcher lives here too, if it's just the five damage coming in. Essentially, like, represents four big cards on the field. Yay! Yeah, I know. It's Cobb Cannon is 
a humongous problem. Briros doesn't do a damn thing. I don't think he has it. If there was a play. He's just trying to figure out how to minimize the damage coming in here from this Garg launcher. This is nuts. Yep. Uh, uh, <laughs> here we go. La di da. <laughs> Come on, Zambot. More more gargs in the ground. They just end up being higher value in general, as I was saying. Smash! Beculimus! Smash! Okay, it kills that. Oh, it's Frenzy! <gasps> the Frenzy Synergy! It worked! Okay, that's such a weird game mechanic, but even, I mean, oh, it's so weird. <laughs> it did six damage to face, not bad. Wow, and it killed all this untrickable stuff, too. Oh, this is fine. Scorch, congratulations. Congratulations. Um, I, I think it's just Mechasaur. He didn't have an answer to this, so. No great zucchini. No, no. There's no great zucchini. I don't know what I'm saying. Shut up, Fry. Nothing you're saying makes sense today. Okay. It's this and either Bats or a Teleport. They both spawn an extra minion. Yay! Just imagining, I'm trying to visualize. Well, he could have great zucchini from Q from cucumber. No, 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 fry. Don't say it. Oh my God. Dear God. Ow. Wow. We should have gone. Man should have gone to the face. The face is what the man should have done. Oh. <sighs> this doesn't actually draw... Um, it doesn't actually give us a thing here, then. That really hurt. Do we win? Oh, it's guaranteed lethal? Whoops. <laughs> I'm thinking so hard about next turn. It's guaranteed lethal, guys. <laughs> it's guaranteed. <laughs> Deep Sea Garg, guaranteed lethal. <laughs> the chats are going, we win! I'm like, oh. <laughs> Alright. I'll take it. Alright, we're 4 and 1. <laughs> uh, we need to win... Three more games? Oh my gosh. Dear. God. Thank you, Deep Sea Man. <laughs> Yay! Wow, that wall of pulling. It's kind of dangerous. A good thing we didn't try to teleport in that Mechasaur. We would have been screwed. Screwed McDuck. Why did he why did he not put the the cosmos in three there though? Is that just a fail the century or what? He totally would have won the game. We didn't have a Well. What was our block meter? Maybe Nibble would have said, oh man. Well, no. What we would have done is played bad in three, and then we would have automatically gone a minion four. Yes, yeah, so it wouldn't matter. It would have still been maybe a better play, but it wouldn't have actually worked. We know that for a fact. For a fat fact. Things are going well. Hey, I like the penis. Yeah. yeah. B bats would have blocked both lanes, so the mixer wouldn't have died and wouldn't have put through through minion to four so deep seas op it's you know it's a seven eight in the water when you get it from garg launcher i almost wish there was a different amphibious garg a five cost we need a five cost amphibious garg i wouldn't make garg launcher better but it would make um garg launching imp way better so if he passes we just cry if he plays try carrot what the what the uh, this looks like Dino Roots. I'll go with the Beam Me Up here. I'd like to, you know, it threatens the next turn. And friends. Yeah, yeah. 
we don't want this getting three attack and then trading well against the beam me up that, and that starts next turn I, I was thinking of cryo brain and then doing some you know this is definitely in yeah this guy's name though Roar. never seen this name before ultimately you guy Uh, it's it's evaporate cryo brain. It, it, I was thinking of drawing cards and doing the evaporate next turn or saving it. I could have done this play too. Maybe saving of that. Well, eh, we didn't have this beam yet. This is all right. This is fine. I, the evaporate to draw a card. You really just want to get some value out of evaporate. Really, these are better than evaporate because evaporate's so hard to activate with the mortician. Roar harder, daddy. ASMR, this microphone is pretty good. I got a new microphone, the Shure MV7. It's so nice. It's bootyful. I think I'm going to draw here. Booty. La, 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 la. Um, do this. That's not a, a problem, guys. It's kind of giving him a lot of value here. That's a lot of teleports, bruv. Orca, Zombot? <laughs> Why? There's <laughs> no point. It's like Call Me Gimme's working on figuring out how the fries work. That's nice. I love the gambling and so much fun. How many people are here? There's a bunch of people here. Over 400? God damn. Every day now. <laughs> I'm glad he's using that already. Cards! We really, 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 really need a late game card. Like literally. Like literally need a late game card. Do I nibble right now? I I dirt. Oh, maybe we could have nibbled against this one. Maybe that was stupid. Boop. Maybe I should have done that against a 3-3 three, three instead of against the armored guy. Because a 2-1 or a 2-0 doesn't really matter. Guys, I'm not very bright. That wasn't a good play. I'm burning a teleport here, by the way. Yay! Orca is just called Orcasm now in this, in this channel. Yay! What the? <laughs> so much anti grave. Wait, where did this come from? Teleport. Extinction. Event. I think I'm just gonna kill this. Then we'll rocket this next turn. We'll take the seven. It's a little bit harsh. It just gives us a play. Until we zomba. It gives us a play. Until we zomba. Ooh, now I can just do this move. Gives us a play. Till we zomba. I feel groovy. What the? What's going on? Oh, it gives us a play until we zomba. 
Give this a buddy. Should I burn a teleport here? The, the, I mean, the chance of this needing the next tele... I'm, I'm actually burning this. This is a little bit risky. But there's so many things, including teleportation zombie, that just work. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's some top deck madness. Let's... We got him. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Teleport Zombot for the win next turn. See if we can preserve the teleport. We have the rocket. We have the environment. Oh, all kinds of stuff going on. We can also teleport for a card here. It's pretty damn good. We'll do that if we need to. It also adds damage in lane 5. What is... The, the orgasm is from the last YouTube video on the main channel. Fry him up is from the intro. You watch that, you'll... You'll see what it is. You'll see what it is. Barber Blast. No, Barber Blast. Rove. It's just teleport Zombot next turn. We don't got no. We ain't. We ain't gonna. We don't gotta. See you. You gonna be teleporting here is actually good. Guys, teleport Zombot. Come on. Come on, bro. It's teleport Zombot nibble. <laughs> La -dee -da -dee -da. <laughs> Come on, go all in. Now's your chance. Go face. I wonder if I just nibble if he doesn't if he passes here. <laughs> Maybe I would consider just nibble. <laughs> Time for some PM value. Let's go. <laughs> Get nibble, bitch. See, this will also make him a little bit more confident that I don't have the Zombot. <laughs> I'm getting more value out of it. He can't bring Nana. He's not a smarty hero. Just call me Gimme. Okay. Gimme, Gimme. Oh, we did some damage. Look at this guy. Look at the size of this guy. Can you please make a freaking play? You're getting boring. Spit out. What is he waiting for? <laughs> now that he has empty block meter, the Zombot actually just does more, so. Cornucopia is a solar car. Just make your move, bro. <laughs> He's thinking so hard. He's smart. The man is... Nah. <laughs> now we're doing it. Now we doing it. We see ya. By Primal Walnut, who's been on the board since turn three. See ya. Yay! Now what? Ha 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 ha. I think he's running. Uh, well, he had the blockbusters before. I don't think he can really afford to deal with this this turn. Plus, he's playing around Doom Shroom instead. All. Oh. Ah uh, ha uh, ha. Uh. Should I BM this guy? <laughs> Corn! Corn on a cob! I'm just gonna win. Nibble! Rocket! <laughs> this is enough BM. He's been through enough already. Alright. Let's <laughs> text 5 and 1, why not? <laughs> Yay! So we need to win two more games for the seven and one. Let's go. <laughs> I'm feeling giddy. I'm giddy. It is time for a ASMR. Does that tickle your ears? I'm sorry, I shouldn't do that. Some people are wearing some fancy headphones, and I just... 
gear tickled then. Oh, I think Rose is a problem because she just zaps all the cards we play. It tickles your sausage. Yeah. <laughs> Tickle us more, Daddy. Yeah, I know. Rose is the problem. I feel like this is the same Rose I played like yesterday. E2. What was he running against? Some... Bro, no. I know bats or something. I was, uh, I'm going to have to play a teleportation zombie. Oh, that hurts a lot. He was playing. Was he playing any Rose? I don't remember. That hurts. Two more pumpkins. No, we didn't have a follow up. That hurts. Hmm. I think we have to commit another. We can always teleport it in. But if he does this, I might just rocket this if he weed wax us. If he passes through his card, draw cards. Nice. Teleportation zombie getting it done. What is he gonna do now? What was this deck? What, haunted Pumpkin on one and nothing. Followed by absolutely zero. Hey, look, we got a. Hey, we have round curve. Look at this. We have a six drop now. This will just be some, um. Some booty bait. Some, uh, you know. Sorry, I mean, some, uh. You know what I'm saying. It's mid rows. Oh, I forgot about Midros. I think we use this to absorb the the goat or the mog next turn. Is it Milrose? Watch out for Brainana. Midros doesn't run doesn't run Brainana. They wouldn't they wouldn't run Brainana in the deck. Dear God. It is Midros. Lackaday. Beep! Summoning. Summoning. Whoops. Well, we get it back. So many. So many. Howdy, Fry. So many. Thank you, Saber Bomb. 40 months for Saber Bomb. God damn. Dear. That's a lot of months. That's like three whole babies worth of months. Way more than that. It's like six babies worth of months. <laughs> what the hell? See you. <laughs> We're milled. It's the Milrose house. Uh, so we give him one of these. We'll probably just space time rocket. Uh, we should play around the the dragon next turn. That's a pretty good answer. But where do we position these? Are you running this? It doesn't look like Midros. Haven't seen any Astros or anything like that. I think it's like this, because this will actually activate the Mechasaur early next turn. Pretty damn good. I need a teleport is what I need. That's interesting. <laughs> Our opponent still has a superpower in hands, right? Oh. <laughs> so against Dragon, we just teleport one of these in. And against Godify and not Dragon, then we teleport one of these in. That was pretty thick. Whee! Uh -huh. Yeah, that's my star. No! You're... <laughs> Look at my hand, guys. <laughs> it's kind of bruh. 
Look at this thick hand. It's 11 cards. Uh, gotta get the value from these while we have it. Kind of milled, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's the time you can get 11 cards. You can't draw an 11th card, but if you have 10 and it gets bounced. <laughs> get wrecked. Uh, so now it's teleport Mechasaur. This shall be fun. Uh, the dragon usually goes here, so... Maybe it'll go here. Well, the Mechasaur lives a dragon anyway. Wee! Yeah. Uh -huh. And Deep Sea Man doesn't even die to dragon. Get wrecked. Yay! We still don't know what the superpower is. Did, oh, he did use freeze? He used big chill last turn. Okay. So now we know. That's actually really good. By the time it blocks, the game's gonna be over. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You know what? We're still completely dominating on this field. Then we get this back. No, um... Oh, it dies. Well, it still throws a Garg, though. Hmm, I don't know about that move. Whee! It does throw a Garg. Right, because this getting damaged, that ability does work. But with doing damage is the one that doesn't. So the only one that doesn't work is Nurse. So weird. Roar! All right, let's go. Is this Mill Rose though? Maybe this is the Mill Rose deck. Oh, he's running Jelly Bean. You're right. Oh, this is the Mill Rose deck we did, and it actually worked. We're Mill to Hell. Oh, I didn't realize. It is Mill Rose. We did a deck a few days before this. Probably by the time this is on YouTube, you can just look within the last week. It was a Mill Rose deck that we didn't end up milling anyone. But look at this guy go. <laughs> look at the, look at the junk on this fella. Uh, probably go Garg and throw him backwards here. Look at the knickers on this knickerbocker. I feel like the bounces would be good, but it's just not working. Did he run Grave Flake too? Oh, man. He stonks though. Come on, man. <laughs> we don't have six and three, or I'd consider it. Bro. Doink. Mechasaur might actually be better here because then the egg gets value. It's Mechasaur. Well, the Mechasaur is going to get value later. Deep Sea Garg for seven is also really strong here, so. It might just throw backwards, and then the egg doesn't do a damn thing. Come on. Yes! Yes! So we're doing eight, actually. And we get an egg. I'm so happy. So now if he answers the gargs, we just teleport another one in. If he answers the teleportation zombie... Da -da 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 -da. Yay! And we have Beat Me Up. I'm so happy. I love Beat Me Up. He's my friend. Are you guys all my friends? Are you guys my special friends? <laughs> Me my special friend, Morty. Are you my little special friend? No, I'm milled. Stop milling me. No, stop. Dear God, look at this hand. It's nuts. This hand is mayhem. Uh-oh, snap, get wrecked. Uh-oh, snap, get wrecked. Extinction event. It's so good. Wee. I'm still milled. I'm still milled. Keep it milling and keep it grilling. <laughs> Dylan. Yes. Did I just friend zone the chat? I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do it. And beat me up wins. Beat me up is my friend. I love beat me up. Beat me up is so cute. All right. Yay! Uh, one more game! Guys, we can do it! We can do it! Yay! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, giddy today!
Oh no, someone's smoking. Someone smoking out my window. Do people in the Philippines smoke a lot? I think you just get rid of these. Gonna cycle cap. Guys, it comes down to game eight. This is game eight. Let's go. Every day it comes down to the last game. This is how it works. I must be purposely throwing the games and stuff. Mm, let me see. They are poor, of course they don't. New to Twitch. Keep up the great work. We shall win. Yay. What is this guy thinking about? Nightcap. Hurry up. It's not that difficult. Uh, he's just waiting for the stream delay to catch up. Uh, well, am I getting sabotaged? This is a tough play. I'm definitely passing next turn. I, I kind of like want to make him play on the ground. See, we don't have any way of controlling him, but this is at least hurting his cards to the ground so we can at least get some value. Out of these, perhaps. Oh boy. Oh boy. What the hell, man? <sighs> we didn't get any nibbles or extinctions. This really this hurts. Yes. Oh, we're in good shape now. <sighs> we answer literally both of these. This is fine. Neat. Summoning. Summoning. I think I'm gonna leave this alive to charge blocks. I know I know they've the acid rain kills, but I kinda want him to like berry blast this. Doesn't even work now. That's a look at the science synergy. Oh my gosh. That's good. We can teleport something in too. Um, so it's always Acid Rain. I think it's Teleportation Zombie. We want him to charge our block meter twice. <sighs> I don't know, man. It's tough. So it's not a lot of health, but I think we're okay. Who, who just sub subscribed? It was Mama Luigi, thirty-six. Welcome to the Primely, that free Prime sub. Oh, I, I hope I didn't mess up here. I need another nibble. Yes, the extinction event. It's so strong. It's so strong. This clogs another lane, so this has got to be it. Mama Luigi. Maybe fronting this is always correct, though. That's, um, I might have just messed up. Probably blocking the open lane is right. Oh no, this is this is we're not we're not in amazing shape. He doesn't have a ton of cards, but just a Sonic with so much reach, Nightcap, man. Ugh. I, I probably should have fronted this. Oh, we so we teleport this in now. I I believe. It's nice that he gave us. Interesting. <sighs> we did not need evaporate there. Oh, this is not going well. I, I, I mean, oh. I don't think we're gonna win this, guys. It's so aggressive. I didn't have the, the the rain is what actually got us. That rain was it was just brought him too high.
like no. This guy's trying really hard here. We rolled a one too. See, we need to roll high and get like bats and block some damage here or something. But let's plan it. So this is always the play. The question is, do we go environment? I think into evaporate next turn is probably a good shot. Or do we go rocket for some reason? He really just needs one bean to win. Three, six. We're not going to rush him down. We need to open up the evaporate and get a nibble and him not get a bean from these two cards, which is, it seems so unlikely. <sighs> Another one. Oh boy. If he doesn't have a bean, we might be able to stabilize here. Especially if this draws us into no, he wins. No, that's a good that's a good counter. It, getting a few more nibbles and stuff early would have been really really nice. Come on, man. <laughs> After all that, we actually went six and two, which is fine. What? What a last, that was a great game. That, actually, that last game was amazing. So the prediction score, the answer is no. We won six or fewer. We really uh, upped the ante a little bit, thinking seven wins, and it didn't happen. That was seriously one of the most fun streams we have had this year. Especially that game two was just nuts. Just absolutely freaking crazy. There were highlights in every single game. I mean, that was incredible. So enjoy all your channel points, I'll use people who didn't believe that this deck could go 7 wins at 8. That was such a long stream too. Hope you guys enjoyed, that was amazing. Peace, this is Fry.